All right, Owen, you're next. Harold sucked, but managed to keep his lunch down, so at least you'll have a dry run. Seconds. You people stink at this. Duncan, you're up next. Oh, speaking of stinking, what is that smell? Hey, I'm no math whiz, but I'm pretty sure that one small space times chili farts to the power of 10 equals do not enter at all costs. Seconds. Most impressive, Duncan, my man. But I'm deducting 10 seconds for puking. Ugh, that was totally disgusting. How could you do that to me? At least the ride snapped my spine back into place. No more pain. Wanna bet? It's down to you two. Beth, your slightly soiled chariot awaits. If we both refuse to do the challenge, then we'll have strength in numbers at the elimination ceremony. You're with me on this. Right, Beth? If I can take the plunge and say yes to Brady, then surely I have the strength of will needed to climb into a vomit-coated spacesuit and get hurled around like a rag doll for five minutes. They're practically the same thing, right? What's it gonna be, Beth? Um, the Girl Alliance is sticking together, Chris. We're both refusing to participate. I'll do it! <gasps> 35 and a half seconds! A new Vomit Comet record! That wasn't so bad. Once I got past the crippling smell and the squishy feeling between my toes. That was the sickest thing I've ever seen. I'm impressed. Ugh. You totally reek. That's just the smell of victory. Victory smells a lot like vomit. <laughs> you made your point, Harold. I'm calling it off with Brady and giving us a try. Oh. Brady and I were never meant to be. I'd return the ring, but... Last chance, Courtney. Ride the Vomit Comet now, or risk a ride in the limousine later. Uh-uh. No way. I forfeit. Well then, in light of Beth's willingness to get her feet wet, so to speak, I declare her the winner of today's challenge! Yes! Hope y'all like gumbo! 